Hey, what's up everybody? So, have you ever had that problem that a project file that you've been working on all of a sudden doesn't open up anymore because Ableton updated itself or a plugin might have updated itself and then all of a sudden Ableton and the plugin, they just go, eh, I don't really want to hang out anymore. So this project that you're trying to finish, I'm just not going to do it. That sucks and it happens to me a lot. And it's specifically when I get projects from clients and they've used a million plugins Half of them are turned on, the other half aren't doing anything. And then Ableton is just like, eh, maybe you should, you know, get another job. Anyway, so here we have one of those type of projects. I couldn't open this project up for the life of me. And you must know how frustrating that is. So now I figured out a way to open it up. So you can either read a report. I don't have time for that. I just need this thing to open up. Or you can do the following. Click on the options button when the project's loading up. If you're on a Windows computer, click on the alt button. Okay, so we'll just do that. We'll open up this project, click on the options button. And what this will do is we'll, we'll load up the projects, uh, the project itself without all the third party plugins. Now you must be thinking, well, Guido, that's kind of stupid because what am I gonna do with a project with nothing loading up? Well, let me show you because it's quite easy. So once you're in here, your project obviously will not sound in any way, shape or form the same as it was. So what you need to do is you need to go to file, I mean to uh, live preferences, maybe in Windows it's a file. Anyway, and then go to the plugins section here. And then here on the top, it'll say rescan the plugins. Boop. Now Ableton will scan all the plugins. For me, it's 1124 plugins that I would have to keep up to date all the time. I'm not doing that. And then now it's rescanned. You're like, well, Guido, it's still completely fucked. Um, here's a drum bus and it's still not working. Check this out. After I've rescanned it, I can just press command D or control D or right click duplicate D. Yeah. Bang. All of a sudden, what was not loaded up now loads up and you can clean it up as well because here we have golf boss and it wasn't even turned on to begin with. It doesn't even have to be in this little group. You can ungroup it. Boom. All these little things in Ableton will go like, oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a problem for something because 11.1.11 whatever had a sh thing that sucked ass. Sorry for the, uh, for the annoyance there, but you've been here, right? It's just very annoying. Now, now you must be thinking to yourself, man, that's a little bit faffy. If I have to do the entire track like that and I have to go through everything again and duplicate every single thing, then you don't have to do that either. You can just take the drum group, for instance, as a group itself and press Command D. And it'll Command D itself, as in duplicate itself. I'm just going to write down this as a duplicate. And then in this duplicate, if we go over, why is it double grouped? Okay, it doesn't matter. In this duplicate, for instance, uh, on the PML Engelhart snare, we have the Valhalla and the Echo Boy, which again, wasn't turned on, why is it there? Okay, it wasn't turned on, but for instance, if we go to the drums, the original, and the PML thing, Jake, then this is not turned on. In case you're wondering why this is like blued out or something, um, it's just that because it was frozen, I always ask uh, artists that I work for to freeze their tracks just in case something um, goes tits up. So that's that. And now you're probably wondering, does it also work for sends? Those are the, the return tracks. Yeah, it works for sends and it will actually load up the, 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 the thingamajig, the 1.4D, 1.8D stereo, and it was messed with uh, presets. There we go. It'll do it on the master bus. It'll do it everywhere. So it's a uh, super easy trick. And make sure to save a different version. Maybe call it Parallelogram. That's the song name. And then cleaned up. And then once you've gone through this and you've turned off, you know, 20 plugins that weren't turned on to begin with, Ableton will start opening up normal again. And it won't be an issue anymore. So, yeah. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and you could potentially read the report, but the likelihood of that plugin actually not working with Ableton, also not that big. It's just Ableton and plugin developers that are updating, and then it just sometimes it goes beep and it doesn't work. So, this is my workaround 
works really fast, easy to do. You can even group the entire song and just press Command D, ungroup, and then everything works so that you can do get your track working within three minutes or so with all the plugins. All right, much love. Peace out. Take care. Make sure to subscribe, by the way. <laughs> and if you want to see lots of mixing uh, videos, make sure to go over to patreon.com slash cat and beats uh, there i go over your mixing questions um and yeah uh, i'll be on on youtube more often now as well all right take care peace out